Hi, this is James Glass with James Glass Company, and this video is at the 507 7th Street project um, over in the historic district of Roanoke, Virginia. And this video is about um, some of the electrical work that's going to be done here. As you can see here now, this house has four meters. Um, it has three 100 amp boxes and then a, a house box. It's basically a small box which is why there's only uh, three disconnects to those four meters. And it was a triplex, which is crazy because this house is only about 1,400 square feet. So it was pretty crazily subdivided. There's a big renovation going on here and one part of the renovation is going to be the electrical work. And uh, we have overhead service here without a masthead coming in from the street. and. Um, the uh, overhead service goes obviously here to the meters and then the uh, one of the breaker boxes was down in the basement unit and here are the other two service panels here. Um, they're not uh, properly grounded. One, Actually all three of these boxes share a single ground rod so we're going to obviously be ripping that up, fixing that. And then uh, we're going to be fixing all of the various retrofits over the years and all the kind of crazy work that's going on here electrically. Let me show you what some of that crazy work is electrically. Um, this was the original wiring in the house. Uh, this is not live. This is knob and tube. And it gets the name knob and tube because of these porcelain uh, fixtures that hold the, the um, wire to the structural elements of the house, the framework. Here's an old knob and tube light socket on this porch and uh, this particular one was wired wrong to begin with. They brought power to the lamp, not the switch, and then actually switched the ground side of the circuit, which is kind of sloppy. Um, it was sloppy even for the 20s. And uh, this, believe it or not, is considered functionally obsolete, but still passes code if you don't touch it. The moment you touch knob and tube you have to pull it out and replace it. Which is what we're doing here. Here's another example of some of the original fixtures. This is one of the old boxes um, where this double gang switch was. Here's a back view of an old box with more of the knob and tube. Now let's look at some of the crazy repairs that have happened over the years. Here's a crazy repair. This, we, when we tore this floor up, we found this. The ceiling is coming out below. You know, obviously lights were added at some point. And the knob and tube has been spliced into modern Romex and it's a real mess. We'll have to fix all that. All this is being pulled out. I'll run all new dedicated circuits to everything. But uh, that's an illegal splice. And of course it's concealed between a floor and a piece of drywall, so that's illegal. This is another example of some pretty shoddy work. You'll notice that this cord is all crazy and loop-de-looped up because basically they just shoved it down the wall with some fish tape. And when they put in a modern box, you know, you can see where they kind of notched the stud to get it sort of flush. And they brought it through an area of the plaster up there, just real sloppy. And then, you know, this is the kind of thing that happens. The insulation gets damaged. It's just really crappy. Here's some more examples um, of knob and tube that's been spliced in with Romax. In this case, they they spliced in for uh, an outlet that's down in the that they added in the baseboard. Again, sloppy. And then they also spliced in. Believe it or not, this is one bedroom as it originally was in the 20s. But if you look carefully, you'll see that the floor is a little different color there. When this was divided into a triplex, they had made this area of this room a kitchen, and then made this area right here a bathroom. And, I mean, I'm sorry, a bedroom. And um, so uh, they obviously had to add, you know, wiring and whatnot for that. So we'll be pulling every last inch of all this old crappy wiring out and all the illegal repairs and we'll be putting in all new wiring with a new tuner damp high quality uh, box 
I'll, I'll get a 40 position breaker box that'll be uh, more than this house ever needs. I'll be able to add uh, HVAC and I'll be able to add a dryer. It'll be fantastic. So that's a little brief video on some of the crappy electrical work you typically see in pre-World War II homes with knob and tube wiring. Thanks for watching the video and I'll be posting a, a bunch of other videos in the 507 7th Street series and um, we'll be showing you all kinds of crazy old school nastiness as well as how that nastiness is fixed and then in the end uh, the finished product. Again, thanks for watching.